Developing news tonight in South Windsor where a water main break has created quite a headache for hundreds of people. It's affected homes, businesses and traffic on a big stretch of Route 30. Channel 3's Aya Galal is live in South Windsor right now with more on the impact this is having. Aya? Dennis and Denise, yeah, it's certainly been an inconvenience for a lot of people, but MDC crews have been out here for almost six hours now. And take a look, they are still digging into the ground, trying to repair the 12 inch water main break. Nearby businesses and restaurants had to close down because they don't have any any water. And first responders say they are prepared in case the worst case scenario happens. Business is usually booming on Fridays at Studio Nails. But today, seats are empty and services are limited. Uh, we don't have the water, mm -hmm. and that's why we can do the medicure, pedicure, nothing. No pedicures means fewer customers, and they're trying to be efficient for customers who do come in. I, we have to do it quicker because no restroom and customer can get out quicker. The water main break happened near 1162 Ellington Road around 11 o'clock this morning. The Metropolitan District, or MDC, says about 400 homes and businesses have been impacted. Porta potties were dropped off outside Stop and Shop for employees and shoppers. Even the firehouse on Route 30 lost water. We're having to make other choices on, on uh, you know, drinking and bathroom, just like the residents on the street that, that were on here. When water main breaks happen, there's concern about a lack of water in fire hydrants and sprinkler systems in buildings. So without those sprinklers, if a fire starts in one of those rooms, it has the ability to build much greater than it would had the sprinkler system been operating uh, properly. But the South Windsor Fire Department is ready just in case. They've staffed up a fire truck and have people at the station ready to go in case there is a call. And depending on how long the water main break lasts, they'll move tankers from other fire departments into town. All right, so there's departments out there that have much bigger tanks. Our, our largest truck carries 1,000 gallons of water, but there's towns out there that have uh, multiple 1,000-gallon tankers, and we might ask for them to bring one into town. As for homes and businesses impacted, they hope everything will be back to normal very soon. Yeah, yeah hopefully tomorrow it'll be better, yes. So the main that broke was installed back in 1965, so it's been about 54 years since it was first installed. MDC is hoping that repairs are finished by 7 p.m. tonight. We'll keep you updated on the latest. Live tonight in South Windsor, Aya Glal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.